love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots are to become so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because that is what love is. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground, and when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. We're gathered here on this day to celebrate the marriage of Lindsay and Ian. You've come before God in this gathering of family and friends to share your commitment to nurturing the love between you and the sanctity of holy marriage. I believe one of the greatest joys of the wedding day is the gathering together of a couple's family and friends. Lindsay and Ian are thankful for you, for your love, encouragement, care, friendship, and support you have given them throughout their lives. We also remember those who were unable to be here and those who have gone before us. its roots in the very beginning of time, an act orchestrated by God Himself, a gift for those who choose to walk in its path. In marriage, you are united as one in your love, yet independent in your thoughts. In marriage, you are together in your hopes, yet distinctive in your ways. In marriage, you are one in your dreams, yet two in your strengths. As you work out how your marriage takes shape and comes to life in all of its joys and challenges, may you always find your anchor in love, a love that goes far beyond a feeling and moves you to action. You've grown to be best friends. You hold one another in high regard. You're on the same team and you don't stop trying. To sum it up with a paraphrase from one of my favorite people, Mr. Fred Rogers, you love each other just the way you are. Lindsay, the years with you have been the best years of my life. And I think it all started with one random baseball party. Together we experienced the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Regardless of the situations, I knew I could always count on you. You're the most caring, loving, and thoughtful person I've ever met. And it truly makes me want to become a better man. I know marriage has its ups and downs, but I promise to love you, to cherish you, to be your best friend, and to choose you today and every day, even if we have golf or softball. <laughs> when we choose to start a family, I promise to help you create a home that's filled with learning, laughter, compassion, love, and a Nintendo 64 so our kids can play Super Mario. <laughs> Lindsay. I'll never take you for granted, and I have never been more certain of a decision than wanting to spend the rest of my life with you. 
from here on out. Even when confined to small spaces for far too long during a global pandemic. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, continually learn with you, and grow together as a couple. I promise to have the patience that love requires and never take you for granted. I accept you as you are and I will love you in all your forms. I promise to agree to disagree on the importance of making the bed and putting down the toilet seat. I promise to encourage you, support you, and help you reach your dreams, because I believe you can do most anything. I'll be there for you, as you'll be there for me. I promise to make time for you when life gets busy, and remember to express my love for you today and all the days that follow. I promise to always apologize for being hangry and remember that pickles and cream cheese don't make a meal. I promise to work with you to foster a relationship of respect and equality, knowing that together we can build a life far better than either of us could do alone. Today I choose you to be my husband, my faithful partner, and my built-in best friend. Love is not breathlessness, it is not excitement, it is not promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away, and this is both an art and a fortune and accident. Today, we witness them merge their past into one, and while that path may be obstructed at one point or another, it will always lead them back home. A place of trust and acceptance, a place where their family will grow and their lives will unfold, a place where if Lindsay has any say, will house 10 more animals that she will show up with unannounced, and they will also eat her couch. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, I love you. You're awesome. We brought over a board game one night to uh, our parents' house. We played dice capades, and you had to arm wrestle my mom. <laughs> and you, you were like, you're like, screw this. I ain't taking no prisoners. <laughs> you like slammed your arm down. No mercy. I was like, no girl ever just showed up and destroyed my mom like that. So. <laughs>
said, there is no remedy for love but to love more. And it is my wish that in the face of any battle, we all remember this. So with that, let's raise our glasses and cheers to the newly married Mr. and Mrs. Ian Spencer Feggy. Ian, will you place the ring on Lindsay's finger? I'd like you to hold it there and repeat after me. Lindsay, with this ring, I give you my heart. Lindsay, with this ring, I give you my heart. From this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter. And my arms will be your home. And my arms will be your home. I ask you to wear this ring today and every day. So you will always be carrying so you will always be caring a part of me and my love with you a part of me me and my love with you I wrote these I should know that <laughs> So do you. Oh my god. I already cried twice, so. <laughs> well, as much as you have consented to be married before this gathering, according to the powers vested in me by the great state of Tennessee, yeah. and being an ordained minister, I now pronounce that you are a husband and wife. <laughs> You now in your hearts, as you've always known yourselves to be, Ian, you may kiss your lovely bride. If you'd like to turn and face the audience and take your bouquet back. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Fagy. Yeah. 